Go. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you guys about assault rifles. I want to show you the difference between a modern sporting rifle and a true military assault rifle. There's a big buzz going on right now out there on the internet and in the news media about assault rifles and the current you know, administration's attempt to ban assault rifles. What they're hoping to ban aren't assault rifles. Assault rifles were banned in 1986. This is a standard modern sporting rifle. It's an AR-15. This rifle looks identical, true, to a true assault rifle. This is an assault rifle. What makes them different? Well, what the administration of Dianne Feinstein would have you believe is that this rifle, because of its collapsible stock, its black plastic furniture, its pistol grip, that's what makes this an assault rifle, and that is not what an assault rifle is. An assault rifle has a very clear definition that they're ignoring. This AR-15 is not an assault rifle. It looks just like the M16 I showed you guys a few seconds ago, the M4. However, it has one key functional difference. This rifle looks like an assault rifle, but that does not make it an assault rifle. A pistol grip doesn't make this an assault rifle. A collapsible stock does not make this an assault rifle. Rails and black plastic furniture or brown furniture do not make this an assault rifle. This rifle, when it's loaded, can only fire one shot for every pull of the trigger, like this. That's as fast as this rifle can shoot. I mean, you can pull the trigger faster, but it does not fire fully automatic. That is the key functional difference between this rifle and a true assault rifle. talking to y'all about assault weapons and I'm going to try to persuade y'all to see why the ban on assault rifles are wrong. <clears throat> uh, this speech is going to have three parts. I already told y'all how to tell the difference between an assault rifle and a sporting rifle. Um, second, why, uh, I'm going to tell y'all why people are so scared of AR-15s. And three, why it makes no sense to ban clips over 10 rounds. The definition of assault rifle is any automatic weapon that is, has high capacity clips and is designed for military use. Personally, I've shot an AR-15 many times. They're just really fun to shoot. You can use them for pig hunting or shooting targets. Um, right here is an MP-22. It's my fiance's. Uh, and right here is a Speedmaster Remington. My dad's. They both are semi-automatic. The only difference is this one doesn't have a clip or a pistol grip, and that one does. I can probably be more accurate with this one than I could that one. This one holds 15, and this one holds 30 or so. There's a sleeve right here where it comes out and put 15 or shells in. Right here, the same thing. This one will be banned because it has a pistol grip, and this one will be legal because it has a real stock on it. It's the same exact gun. Um, people fear what they don't understand. People have gotten completely stupid about the look of an AR-15. They'll freak out if they see one. Um, here are some of the crazy stories I found. Um, there was a young boy, he got an MP-22, like that pink one I just showed you, for uh, his birthday. His dad took a picture of it you know, on Facebook. The uh, DYFS, in other words, uh, social services kind of like came to his house and wanted to talk to the boy and 
see all the man's guns. And they had the police with them. He, he asked why, and they said because they saw the picture. And they wanted to see his guns because they said they had to be registered every year. He's like, no, that's not wrong, right? That's optional. And so eventually he was able to get them off his land. And come to figure out, the DYFS, they called the police to come with them. They didn't come on their own. Another story was a seven-year-old boy was eating a Pop-Tart, and he was trying to eat it and make it look like a mountain. And the teacher saw it and thought it looked like a pistol. So he got suspended for two days. <clears throat> I got all these stories from the NRA on their website. Um, the NRA says we've gone beyond unreasonable and arrived at outrageous. Ten round clips. They want to ban anything over ten rounds. The definition of a high capacity magazine is any magazine over ten rounds. So they're saying that a 14 round clip would be a high capacity magazine. When we think of it, a high capacity magazine would be something like 30 or 50 rounds. I mean, I, I bought a pistol the other day. It came with a 14 round clip. So they'd say that would be a high capacity round. Something that comes standard would be banned. I hope I persuaded you to see uh, why the ban is wrong and <clears throat> basically what the ban is really talking about.